Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. And today I'm super excited because I have a new technique to show you. This is just hitting uh, social media and I found it by accident. One of my um, friends, Kathy Miller, actually showed it showed me some cards she made with it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to do this for my Wednesday. Wait, what? Tip video. So we're gonna be using coffee filters to make this great tie-dyed effect. And this is called um, a tie-dye technique. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. So <laughs> these are just plain old coffee filters. And it was funny because I asked my husband, I said, do you have white coffee filters? Cause I know, um, I've seen brown ones too. And I'm like, do you have white coffee filters? And he's, he kind of was hesitant. He said, yeah. And I didn't say anything else. He goes, you're going to use them, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I'm going to use them. So I've got one coffee filter here. And you're just going to take it and crumple it up. Now, when you open it back up, I want you to be gentle with it. Because if you don't be gentle with it, you could tear a hole in it. These are pretty fragile. Like... I popped a hole right in this one. Not cool. So you're just going to scrunch it and open it back up. You want it to be nice and wrinkly. Once it's nice and wrinkly, we're going to lay it down here and we are just going to kind of accordion it. So I'm just going like this. There's nothing, you know, real precise or fancy to this. We're just going to get it in accordion, just like the looks like a piece of wadded up napkin, right? Okay, next we're gonna take baby wipes. And I've taken this baby wipe and I've just torn it in half because I don't need a whole baby wipe. So I like to use, um, I like to use a block because it helps keep my fingers clean. So I've just got our G block and I am just going to wrap this in my baby wipe, just like that, okay? And then we are going to use Lemon Lime Twist and Island Indigo Ink for this particular tie-dye. And I'm just going to start with the Island Indigo here. And you're gonna get your block inked up. Look at I stuck my finger in it. You guys know that I can't do anything without being messy. Okay, here we go. And you're just going to take this and stamp it on your coffee filter, just like that. And now I'm going to grab one. I've already made a card using this color, so I've got one here that's in the Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm just going to stamp that right next to it. Now if you want to, you can leave some white in between or you can make your colors, you know, butt right up against each other. And then I'm gonna come in with the blue again. I love this blue, it's probably my favorite blue. Well, that and pool party. You guys know I make a lot of stuff at pool party, too. It's another one of my favorites. You will have some white peaking in between your color layers here. so Or maybe not. You can make it just as dark as you want. The more times you tap it here, and you can kind of see how it's popping apart. That's okay. Don't worry about that. You just need to get good color on it. Kind of soaks through the layers and I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more in the green you can go back if you decide that you don't have enough color let's open it up and see what we have going on here oh I missed quite a bit here so I'm just gonna pop that back together and give it a little color there we go okay now what I did when I made my cards because I had to figure out what else I was gonna do with them I actually just set them aside um, I set my coffee filters aside and then, you know, figured out what I was going to do with the rest of my cards. So they dried on their own. But for purposes um, of this video, I am going to hit this with a heat tool to dry it a little faster. Like I said, if you have time, just make up a bunch of these. You can switch colors. I've got a whole plate, like a whole palette here of all different colors that I use today as I was trying to figure out what cards I was gonna make. But you can just set these aside and let them dry. I'm gonna heat this up so I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. 
And now what I've got here is whatever um, size you want your layer to be, you want to cut your cardstock, just a piece of white cardstock, to be that size. And I've got this one at four by five and a quarter. I'm going to take my snail adhesive and add snail all around the sides here. And then another little tip I have for you, if you're going to put stuff on the front of your card, you don't want this flopping around on there, which is what happened to me. So I'm going to add some more snail to the middle so I have it good and covered here. I'm going to bring my piece in. You can kind of pull this so it's going to lay nice. It's supposed to lay nice. It's supposed to be kind of crinkly. That's kind of the whole tie-dye effect, right? There we go. That looks really good. And now I'm going to put some more snail around the outside edges. Another thing that works great for this is a glue stick. You could use that too. I just don't happen to have any. Now, you can fold this over without cutting this off, but I just found it was easier to cut this off and leave, I don't know, like about an inch margin around the outside. Make sure you stick with me. I've got some really fun cards to show you. I may use two more colors and um, have some completed cards. So don't go any place. Here we go. And here we go. Now, on these corners, you know how you wrap a present? You want the corners to be nice and crisp. I just kind of push that in a little bit on each side so that I knew I wouldn't see it once I turned it over to the front. You know how your corners can kind of stick out like that? We don't want that to happen. Look at, I'm not even really very dirty. So this is a great technique. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, and now I'm just gonna take a regular size card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half my bone folder here, burnish the edge nicely, and I always like to use liquid glue. I think, I don't know, I go back and forth. Oops, not that much. <laughs> Getting a little carried away there, but I just think a good amount of glue on here is going to make this stick better. Let me see if I can get that cleaned off without making a disastrous mess. Sorry, hang tight. We've interrupted this program so Kelly can clean the glue off her fingers. <laughs> okay, there we go. And here comes. Isn't that just a gorgeous background? I love it. I absolutely love it. This is for your hippie friends. This is for your teenagers. They will love this. Kids will love this. Got a little bit of glue squishing out there. Be careful about that. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I took one of our stitched shapes framelits. It's got the little stitching around there. I hope you can see that. I took one of our stitched framelits and I mounted that on dimensionals. And then this happy birthday is coming from the happy birthday gorgeous bundle. You get this particular die as a bundle with the stamp set. Love the stamp set. And I have um, a gazillion cards I'm going to show you with the stamp set. I hosted a bundle swap using this and I have 24 different cards and they're all very, very different and I love that. Um, so happy birthday gorgeous and this particular framelit is called happy birthday thinlets and I'll have the numbers up on the screen for you. If you're interested in buying this, you can head right over to my store. Okay, are you ready to see the other creations that I made? Oh, well, let's get back to this first. Here's my happy birthday. I cut out an island indigo and a lemon lime twist, which I don't remember if I said the colors that I used, but that's what they are. I cut out one in each color, and then I just kind of offset them a little bit. So I glued the lemon lime over the island indigo, and it gives you that really fun look on the words here. Okay, now let's see what else I made. Ta-da! I really like this one. Again, I used the same technique. I used our Memento Black ink pad and the Daffodil Delight ink pad. And then the happy birthday, I did the same thing. I've got Daffodil Delight with the black over it, the stitched shapes framelits here with dimensionals underneath. And then this bumblebee is coming from the detailed dragonfly thinlets. 
So I did the same thing, Daffodil Delight on the bottom and black on the top. And remember when I said to put glue all over or tape all over the front of your layer when you push your um, coffee filter onto it? This is why my bumblebee's kind of like flopping around because there's no glue under this panel. So make sure you get lots of glue under there. That's where, you know, that's where you learn. <laughs> like, oh, I should have done this. And then we have this card, isn't this fun? I did the same exact thing with the um, greeting and I used my balloon punch and also with the Happy Birthday Gorgeous, you get these balloons. So that's where these are coming from with our balloon bouquet punch. This is a great, this is a great um, set together. You can do so many things with this. And I've got Elegant Eggplant and Berry Burst. And of course, that's what color my cardstock is here too. So three awesome cards with this new technique. I can't wait to play with this and make some more stuff. I think um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So I hope you learned something new today. I always like to teach, teach something new. I hope that your time was well spent watching my video. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can help keep me bringing these videos to share by placing an order in my Stampin' Up! store. You'll find the um, link to my store right on my blog at www.astampabove.com. If you don't have a current catalog, you pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I will be happy to send you one. Make sure you're clicking down here in this corner to subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any videos that I have coming out. I do produce two videos every week for my stamping friends. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day. Give this a try. It's so fun and easy. And look, it's not really that messy. So that's, that's a bonus too, right? Have a great day. Happy stamping.